Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight. So to Romans chapter 8, verses 6 through 9. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. We all know that in becoming more like Jesus, that's our goal. But we do struggle the practical outgrowth of that and what that looks like. And the primary problem is sin in our lives. Sin is something that takes our focus off of the Savior and off of the Sovereign God and puts it squarely on me, 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 me. And as long as I'm full of me and full of sin, I can't simultaneously be full of the Spirit. Because if you have a cup that's filled up to the brim with coffee, it can't also be filled up to the brim with water. It will be full of one or the other, but not both. Because it can't be filled with both. D.L. Moody said this. He said, I believe firmly that the moment our hearts are empty to pride and selfishness and ambition and everything that is contrary to God's law, the Holy Spirit will fill every corner of our hearts. But if we are full of pride and conceit and ambition of the world, there is no room for the Spirit of God. We must be emptied before we can be filled. Maybe that's why we lack the fullness of the Holy Spirit in our lives not because the Holy Spirit doesn't want to fill us, but because we've not made any room for Him. If you want room for the fullness of the Holy Spirit of God, learn to repent of your sins rather than rationalizing them. Learn to repent of your sins rather than rationalizing them. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I do pray that you'd help us to indeed become good repenters. Lord, we do have feet of clay and we are but dust, and we know that it is so easy for us to fall prey to the sin patterns of this old world. Help us, God, to gain victory and to become more than conquerors, to become overcomers in this life. Allow us, God, to have a word of testimony that overcomes and to remember that by the blood of Jesus Christ we can overcome. Just be with us as we rest tonight. Help us to move into that place of spirit fullness for ministry and just for life, God. We need you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.